Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to start reviewing the Magia welcome app. So this is the Magia welcome app. It has got a lot of functionality, which we will discover in a series of videos. Maybe two or three videos will be enough to check out all the functionality features of Magia welcome app. So first, the welcome tab is there. In the welcome tab, it just welcomes you uh, to the Magia system. Next tab is the sources tab. So here, you can get the information about the different uh, software repositories. So the Magia official repositories contain the core repository, which has all the free open software packages. Then there is a non-free software repository, which contains the closed source programs. For example, NVIDIA drivers, non-free drivers or some Wi-Fi cards, extra. Then there is a tented repository. So this package is for example, the video and audio codecs needed for certain multimedia files or commercial DVDs, they may fringe on patents or copyright laws in certain countries. So you have to be very careful. If they have some patent or copyright laws which prevent you from installing and if you install them in your country, then you might be uh, on the wrong side of the law and the law enforcement agencies can uh, go against you. Then there is this backports channel or the backports repository, which includes the new version of packages and a few new packages that do not meet the updates policy. So what happens is some of the packages which are there in the, uh, we can say testing, uh, testing version of the Magia. So for example, in Magia 9, suppose they are doing testing for the Magia 10, then those packages if they are behaving well, if they are working properly, they can be backported and the newer features of those packages will be available to the Magia 9 users. Now note, so this is the note, if you enable the online repositories during installation, some media sources should be installed already. Otherwise, we will now configure this online repositories. If this computer will have access to the internet, you can delete the local entry from the list of the repositories. So we can add and remove the online repositories. Now please enable or disable the online repositories of your choice. Click on the edit software repositories button. Select the, select at least the release and the updates pair. So at least you have to keep release and updates pair selected always. Debug and testing are for special reasons or special cases or if you want to do take part in debugging and testing, then you can enable those repositories. After you have checked and enable the repositories you need, you can go to the next slide. So let us edit the software sources. So here you can see the different uh, repositories that are available. So by default, when you do the default installation, the HTTPS core release repository is enabled, core updates repository is enabled, non-free release uh, is enabled, non-free updates is enabled and the HTTPS core 32-bit updates is enabled. So now why are we seeing all this HTTPS? Because if you remember, we had selected the HTTPS mirror from the India server. So there is India server, it has got both HTTP mirror and the HTTPS mirror. So we had selected the HTTPS mirror. That's why all the repositories are of the type HTTP, HTTPS and not HTTP because HTTPS is secure version of HTTP. So you have to use that. And there is also this uh, HTTPS non-free 32-bit updates. So the core 32-bit updates repository is there and the 32-bit updates repository is also there. And also the tented 32-bit updates is also enabled by default. So one, two, three, four. So this grayed out uh, repositories are enabled by default and you cannot disable them. Oh, let me check. So sorry, they are not enabled, but their updates are enabled. So I think the 32-bit uh, Okay, so 32-bit, uh, if you install any 32-bit application, then the updates for that application will be enabled automatically. So right now they are not enabled. The support is there, support is enabled, but the updates, uh, the repository is not enabled. Once you install a 32-bit application, automatically 
this uh, repositories will start working and you can download the packages for your 32-bit application so i think it works like this so now i will stop the video here in the next video we will check out some other functionality of magia welcome app bye bye